answers from my mom. You brought me to this world and you just left me. Instead of blaming this woman, you need to thank her. So you want me to thank her for leaving? Maybe she had a good reason for leaving. How do you tell your mom to stop acting like a child? That's why she angry because I'm a diva. Deadbeat mama drama. Parents are supposed to raise kids. Kids aren't supposed to raise parents. Right now. coming in and thanks for watching. No child wants to feel betrayed or deceived by their own mother. That's why my guests are here to face their deadbeat moms and try to get past their anger. Please welcome Cleveland to the show. Cleveland, come on out. <laughs> Cleveland, why are you here today? I'm here because I want to, I want answers from my mom. I want to know why she wasn't around and why she didn't take time out to take care of me and why she abandoned me. Talk about when you were that little boy four years old and what happened when you were four. Uh, when I was four, she, she put me to bed one day. Uh, she put me to a, she put me in a nap. That was, it was me, her, and my sister. And uh, she, put me, she put me to bed. And um, what happened when I woke up was the house was empty. When I got up, the house was completely empty. I was four years old. I was too small to reach a light switch. I didn't know what was going on. And the only thing I could feel was like, was resp I felt responsible. There was a reason why I was still there, why I was left and my mom and my sister was gone. Like so, you, you had done something wrong? Maybe? Like I did something wrong. I felt responsible. You were abandoned, literally abandoned. I was literally abandoned. She, she didn't, I don't think she cared. She just left me. And um, I, I looked around, I, I walked around the house, I cried. And I, I just hoped that someone would come get me, but you know, I was there for, for a while by myself, and I remember this very vividly. This is like my first, my first memories. You're now about 22, 23 years old, 23 so you've gone old. through about 18, 19 years. Mm. What are some of the other memories between the ages of four and 18 you have about your mom? I just remember her just being inconsistent. She was never there. She was consistently inconsistent. So Shannon has five children five. with three different uh, baby daddies. Yes. How does she react to the other ones, like Ashley and the other ones? How does she react to them? How does she, I mean, same thing. Nothing. Nothing. Same thing. She she just continually used to just just be off in her own world. Just being. She's like a teenager. She's just off in her own world. She's like forty years old, acting like she's fourteen. Yeah, and she's just off in her own world. You know, obviously having kids. She likes making kids, obviously. Um, and uh, but she, man, she doesn't really making like kids are fun. But the problem is you got to deal with the aftermath. Yeah, you have to take care of them. But she yeah. didn't do that. You know, she pushed me out and see you later. In fact, <laughs> in fact, did she care more about men than she cared about her own babies? I'm guessing that's what happened. That's what she's showing me. Now, what do you want to happen? Because you contacted the show from California, mm. came all the way across the country. What do you want to see happen today? I want answers. I want her to tell me. I want her to look me in my face and tell me what she was doing and why she was doing it and what was so important. Did you become the kind of man you were in spite of her or because of her? I think I may have become the man that I am because of her, not in spite of her. Because she left me to just be abandoned and to not be around and things like that, I, I, I learned to take care of myself. That's how I became the man I am, because of her. You know, because she didn't. It Are you close to the other siblings at all? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm close to all What about Ashley? Them. Ashley, I'm very close to Ashley. Is she like your... Your best friend, your sister, you two are close. Yeah, we're close. Very close. Yeah, we, we're always, 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 always together. At the end of the day, Cleveland, when this show is completed and you go back home, mm -hmm. what do you want to see happen? I would, like to, I would like for us to be a family, a real family. I'd like to, I'd like to have a mother. I'd like, to have, I'd like to have a relationship. You know, what about when I get married? You know, you know is she going to be that? You know, is she, you know What's going on? Like, what is she going to do? She's like a flat rock on a pond just skipping across your life, and you like her to sink into your life a little bit. Yes, sir. All right, please welcome Cleveland's mother, Shannon, to the show. Shannon, come on out. <laughs> Shannon. Why are you crying? Have you been in your son's life? Stop blaming me, Bo. What did you do? I did the best that I could for well, you. And what was that? I was trying to have safety for you. Safety? I was, Do you I think was, it was, you I think was, it was promiscuous. Safe? I was using drugs. I had to get away. You had to get so away? So I had to leave you with your dad. You couldn't just change your life? You couldn't just stop being promiscuous? You couldn't just stop using drugs? You couldn't just be there for your little boy? I was 17. I spent, I got what you get when I was 14. You made a 
choice, not me. I didn't make the choice. I didn't ask to be here. You, you, you brought me to this world and you just left me. Mom, you seem to be saying because you were promiscuous and because you were on drugs, it's okay then. It's like, well, you know, that, everything's done. But take responsibility. If you would say, look, people make mistakes. Pencils have erasers for a reason. Everybody has made big mistakes, small and large. And I'm saying this, that if you make those serious mistakes, you're relatively young. You're only 40. He's 23. You got 40 years more to live. And this boy, unlike many who would be, I've done these, a lot of these shows, bitter, angry, mean, acidic. Not him. He's loving, warm, saying, and a lot of men don't open up like this. You know, it's harder for guys to be honest than women for some reason. But I'm saying this. I, t tell me what caused, what caused the drug abuse? What caused the promiscuity? What caused it? In your life, tell him what was going on when you were 14, 15, 16. He may not know about. What was going I on? I was really young. And I was doing drugs. And I didn't have any guidance. So it what did sound, you expect? I, I, I just, you know, I expected a woman that had a child to take care of her kid. <laughs> that's what I expected. And that's what, that's what I've not gotten. I haven't gotten it. You know? You, you didn't ask to be born. I didn't ask to be born. But now I'm asking to be taken care of. I'm asking for you I to be there for me. I didn't ask your sperm to sw swim up there either. <laughs> either. Wow. Well, I guess, I guess, uh, well, I'm here now. I'm here now and you have a responsibility. I, I really want to know, what are you going to do? Hey, what, did your life take a turn at some point? I mean, at some point, you're now 40. When you're in your 20s and 30s, did, have you changed course? Are you still promiscuous? Are you still dabbling in drugs? Are you saying you don't want, you wish I wasn't born? No, I'm not saying I wish you wasn't born. I'm just saying you, you was the strong one that swam your little up there. Well, I, hey, I sw hey, I swam up there and I'm gonna continue to swim. But I'd like you to be, I'd like you to be there. I'd like you to be there. Yeah, I love you and I wanna, I wanna- Let's stay there, Mama, say that again. I love you and I want us to work on our Quit relationship. Quit talking about this swimming sperm, we're not making progress here, Mama. <laughs> It, it, to me, I, I agree. It's not funny. You try to make light of it because it's serious and I'm take trying, away the harm. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, he is not. I laugh to keep from shedding tears. Amen. That's why you did it. I accept that. It, it's a masking technique. So, I, I, mean, I get that. What's going to be different now? You know, it's been it's been a good 18, 19 years. You know that you've been absent. Like, what are you going to do now? You know. Because I don't know how to relate. I really don't know how to have a I've relationship been with you. I've been calling you. I've been texting you. I need a lot you more than that. You don't I need return a lot more my calls? What, I mean, what, I, what, I really what, what do we have me to do? What do we have to talk about? I, have, I, I need more than phone calls. No, wait, you, you can't complain on her not being in your life. Then when she tries to get in your life, you're saying, I'm not returning your call. I mean, you can't have it both ways. You see what I'm saying, Clayton? Well, well what I'm saying is a phone call after 19 years, a... A text message after 19 years of not being there does not suffice. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. It's not. You don't send me a text message and I text you back. You know that's friendship. At some point, will you look him in the eye, hold him as dearly as a mother can hold a son, and tell him how sorry you are for any behavior you engaged in that was bad when you were his mother and you two were growing up? Yeah, I think if we begin there, we might make progress. We'll continue with more. Stay right there. Will Cleveland forgive the mom who abandoned him? I don't want to text mom. I want a relationship. I want a mom. And what will Shannon say to the daughter she walked out on? Shannon, let it go. What, what is it? There's something that kept you from loving these children the way you should. Something in your life kept you from loving Ashley and Cleveland. to look up to their mothers, but my guests today say they just can't do that. Can mother and child face their issues and make peace today? Before we bring out Ashley, I left the last segment with this idea. Are you capable of accepting responsibility, saying how sorry you are, if you could do it all over again, it'd be different, and you want a new relationship with your son? It begins with an acknowledgement of guilt. It begins with sorrow for past behavior and a promise to do better. Can you do that? Yes. Let's if hear he's it. willing to accept. Let's hear it first. Listen, Bo. I've, I'm really sorry. I really made a lot of mistakes. I just, I just, I just want a text from you every now and then. 
I don't want to have to live the rest of my life not being. I don't want to text mom. I want a relationship. I want a mom. I want a mom. I never had that before. I want to know that you care. I want to know that you want to be there. Physical presence. Physical. Physical. You promised me to come see me and go out. We're supposed to go out shopping. You never showed up. I'm supposed to be responsible for coming to see you. Oh, it's always that way. It's, it's, why has it got to be your way? Because you're my mom. You're the adult. You're the mother. I don't drive. Change your life. Change your life. Change your life. I bet you have a friend who drives. I bet bus lines work. I bet you can get there somehow if you want to. I bet I'd walk 100 miles to see my kids. What about your fiance? Your fiance's here. What's his relationship like uh, with Cleveland and Ashley? He doesn't have one with them. Does he know them at all? Doesn't really know who they are? He knows them. He, he's really, we kind of keep it. A yeah. distance? Yeah. This is like your life with him and your life with them. See, he wants Cleveland and Ashley's coming in a moment. But they want a family structure in which you are close to both of your two kids, including the other three, but especially Cleveland and Ashley. And they want to have a relationship with their fiance they don't know because if that man's in your life, Cleveland, don't want to know who the man is in her life? Yep, definitely. Please welcome Cleveland's sister and Shannon's daughter, Ashley, to the show. Ashley, come on out. a joke. It's serious, Mom. Seriously. Ashley, what's going on? Tell me what's going on. She's saying, I, don't, I just feel like she's taking it as a joke. Like, it's serious. Like, you're our, our mother. Like, you've left us abandoned. And it's just, I don't understand it. You need to be consistent as a parent and just come around to show us that you love us. Which major events did she miss in your life? Tell her. Um, major events as in high school graduation. That's the main one. Birthdays. Pr very few. Very, a lot of them. She missed. She Prom. Prom. Holidays, I didn't go to prom, but Christmas, Christmas, holidays, things that a parent, a mother should be there for. Mama, <sighs> Shannon, let it go. What, what is it? There's something that kept you from loving these children the way you should. Something in your life kept you from loving Ashley and Cleveland. Tell us, tell them. They have to know where it came from. I was from. young and I just was dumb, and I made a lot of mistakes. Sorry. I needed you Ashley. bad. I needed you so bad. I needed to be a kid. I didn't get that opportunity. I'm sorry, Bo. And Ashley, tell your mom for those eight year period that she was gone, she didn't show up for events. She was absent. She didn't have the capacity to love. Explain it. I just feel very hurt because I feel like every little girl should be able to grow up and have their mom there. Wake up in the morning and just be like, Mom, what are we doing today? Let's get our nails done. I never had that. I, don't, I didn't get that. When you were 10, 11, 12, 13, becoming a woman, you wanted advice. You wanted, you wanted yeah, I needed, somebody I, I to talk needed to, to Yeah, I needed my mom there. I mean, there's certain things that I can't just go to my dad and be like, hey, what's this? You know, what's going on? I, I need my mom because, I mean, every girl needs that. And, and I didn't have that. And it, and it hurts me so bad. Like. She's just starting to come around after the fact that I'm grown. And it's just like, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand, Mom. All right, now hold Why on, Shannon, Ashley, Cleveland, listen up. And I had to deal with your children because I used to be on crack, too. And to God be the glory, I'm all right now. But... I know what it is for my child to be to have been abandoned, and I thank God for my mom. My daughter is in the audience here. Her name is Shannon. She is my pride and joy, the love of my life. Hold on, because I think your experience is Shannon's now. Explain to these children what you went through with your mother. Explain that. Um, well, my mom wasn't really around um, that much when I was young, but my grandma raised me, her mom, and she was more like a mother to me than my own mom was. Mm -hmm. but, so um, your experience, what, what advice, hold on, what advice can you give to Shannon, who was promiscuous on drugs? Let go and let God. 
And I thank you so much. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's do this. Shannon, there's probably a, thank a you. million or more mothers in this country and uh, probably five or ten million fathers who have done exactly what you have done. Believe me, you're not the Lone Ranger. There's lots of parents and mothers who have done exactly what you have done. The difference is at some point a mother says, I'll take responsibility. I did it. I'm not going to tweet. I'm not going to Facebook. I'm going to be physically present with my children. Coming up, we have the fiance coming up. And Ashley, are you willing to listen to your mother, to accept her apology, which I've not yet heard from her to you, but if that moment comes, are you willing today to begin that new relationship? Yes. Just as our fine lady in the audience did. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. Shannon's fiance hits our stage and sets off fireworks for this family. I'm having a conversation with you, and we were at each other's throats, man. First and foremost, let me talk. Will he further divide the family? Y'all sitting up here blaming this woman like she did something wrong to y'all because she did. She did something wrong to us. She abandoned us. For your free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham Show live in New York City, go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call 888-710-8425 now. The thing I want to say is they not going to come between me and somebody that I love. You know what I mean? It's not going to happen. So I never keep them away from their mama. You know what I mean? Never that, man. My guest today and some of the audience have had no choice but to grow up fast because their moms neglected and betrayed them. Hopefully they can mend their relationships today. Please welcome Shannon's fiance, Ruben, on the show. Ruben, how you doing? How you doing, man? All right, Ruben. You're engaged to marry Shannon, correct? Yes, sir. Who's the mother of Ashley in Cleveland. Completely, yes. What is your relationship with these two children of hers? As of today? Yeah, honestly. Uh, or, I mean, really, uh, we really don't have no father and kids relationship, nothing like that. You know Why? what I mean? Do you want one? I mean, I had no problem with it, of course, because I'm, 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 I'm engaged to their mother. You know what I mean? Right. And but sometimes we have problems when we, when we talk to you on the phone. Yeah, like when you know? call her mom, it's just like either you answer or you hang up on us. Or like when I try to talk to my mom in the background, I hear you like saying certain stuff and interrupting her. And it's just like, I feel like that's our mom and we should be able to have that conversation with her. You know, like she had us. So she had I remember personal. having a conversation with you and we were at each other's throats, man. <laughs> yeah, we were at each other's throats. Yeah, you, and, and you know what? Hold on, first and foremost, let me talk. Oh. Let me talk. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, wait, listen. You what? probably ain't never had a father figure in your life before, but if you get involved with me and her, you will have one. Because first and foremost, wait, wait Your me. father raised him largely yeah, because mom was gone. Really and dad. you, need, and and you need to stop blaming this woman and thank her for that. Oh, no, 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 That's no, what you no. need to do. I need to thank her for leaving that, us? No, she that didn't. That doesn't make no sense, First though. and foremost, you, see, you, you're not no, listening. But you're, you're not making sense, so why would we let you talk? Because you're not making any sense right now. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? I had a good dad. Wait, 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 okay? wait, wait, wait. That's why wait, I'm wait, 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 wait. We're not going to have this. We're not going to have all this arguing and carrying wait. on. But he's not going to talk about listen, my dad like that. Listen, ain't nobody talking about 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 that. Listen, Ain't nobody talking Give about. Give you a minute, Ruben. Bring it. Let's hear it. Listen, man. They've nobody... had a father figure <laughs> okay. in their life, and they got one now. Only thing I'm saying is, yeah, instead of blaming this woman, you need to thank her because if anything, she could have left y'all out there on the streets somewhere. And well, she did. But you, but you mean, no, she left you with. She left you with her with y'all father. That's man. a fa that my father made that decision. My father made the decision to take care of us. But uh, do you ever? Think she of, didn't. Do you ever think about she this? She made a decision to leave. About, do you ever so think you about, want me to thank wait, her wait, for leaving? Maybe she had a good reason. For leaving. Chant. There's no reason for leaving children. How do you know that? How do you know that when you was kids? How do you know? It's no excuse. How do you know? Wait, when how you do have you, kids, how you, do you, when you know? get birth to your kids, you know, you're when you weren't here either. at the time, Shannon, is what he's saying accurate? Is what he's saying, you must have told him these things. He wasn't around. Yeah. Yeah, you weren't even there, man. But I told him, uh, he knows a lot about me because I've told him a lot. And, and tell me this, did you... Are you okay with him talking to your children in this way? Are you okay with that? Telling the truth? Because it's not cool. Telling the truth? Only thing I'm saying, only, I'm not, only thing I'm saying is, stop sitting up here blaming this woman like she did something wrong to y'all because she did... She did something wrong to us. She abandoned us. Did you or did you not have a good reason for having to leave 
these kids with their father. Tell yeah, them she wanted wait, wait, to do wait, drugs. Wait, 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 stop talking. Stop talking, man. Stop talking, man. She wanted to do listen drugs. To, listen, she wanted to do drugs and be promiscuous and run around with dudes. Man, that you, was her you reason. You keep on talking about doing drugs and all that. That don't have nothing to do with, with, with whatever you're talking about, man. Yes, that does. Has yes, has she does. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Regardless, okay, everybody did stuff in their past, man. Okay, that's the past. That's the past. You sitting here blaming her, talking about she abandoned but you. But she's doing the same thing. She's well, not she's, here. Is she? Is she I, Ruben, I, I want to hear from that. Shannon. Ruben, calm down just a minute. Shannon, is what Ruben is saying about the relationship that you had with those kids, and he is defending you, you had no choices, is that act? You came in the first part of the show apologizing how sorry you are. You had tears coming out of your eyes. Yeah, you had I am sorry. But he's not hes not acting like you're sorry. He's acting as if you're I'm, an innocent victim of them. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying she's not sorry. Only thing I'm saying is, don't sit up here and blame her like she really abandoned y'all like that. She did. She did. She did. Did you leave your kids alone for eight years with their father? Yes. Okay. Ruben, eight it. years. Okay, that's okay, abandoning okay, okay, okay. But did you or did you not have a damn good reason? That to is do not it. a good reason. Did you? Drugs? Have no people reason. Did you leave your kids? That's There's not a no reason. reason. No reason. No reason. And There's that's no reason. No you put them up for adoption. You should be able to sit here and admit that. You know? as, a, as a grown man, that's you should know that, that that's not a good reason. Ruben, you listen to the show and you you heard Cleveland uh, Ashley. He doesn't know because he doesn't have any kids. That's why. They don't have anything. No, 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 no. This much, man. I know this much. First and foremost, man, I know this much. I'm gonna tell you like this. This is a, a good woman, man, and she loved y'all. She never. I want to see her prove it. I want to see her do and, it. And, 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 and she never abandoned y'all, man. She never did that. And and not just that. She had a good reason to why she she didn't want to leave y'all. She had one. to for her own sake, man. And then if she wouldn't have, she would have still been on drugs. If she wouldn't have did that, man. But now, whatever happened in the past, happened in the past. Whatever happened in the past, happened in the past, man. I understand that. I understand it. I, I, I understand it. I understand that, bro. I understand what happened, what happened in the past, man. That's fine. I got a question. Cleveland. Is Reuben bringing down your mother? Is this another bad, manly influence in your mother's life? responsibility and stand on her own as a woman. Is it possible that Ashley and Cleveland's feelings toward Reuben are of such a character that they see something in him that you're not seeing and that this guy's going to lead you down the bad path once again? Is that possible? No. It's not possible. No. Do you love that man? Yes. You love him. Are you going to marry that man? Yes. Now, what impact to Ashley? If she marries him, what's that going to mean to you? I mean, I'm going to be mad about it, but in the end, of course, of course, she's gonna do what she wants to do, but if she wants to make our relationship better, then he needs to just butt out of our business. All right, one last thing. Since, since Ruben came out, Shannon, you have said nothing. I give the floor to you, Shannon. Let me hear it, let me hear it. Let me hear it. Shannon, go ahead. Talk loud. What, what do you have See, to say? You can't talk you for can't yourself. Talk, you can't talk because he's right there. Are you no, intimidated that's by him? No, that's yeah. not then it. Why don't you have I'm just, to I'm say? Just, I, I just, at this point, sometimes you don't know what to say. No. You had a lot of work. And you didn't work. know what to do, and you just left us. Right. It's the Here's your chance. Again. You've been with Ruben for five years. You're about to marry the man. And, and the main reason you're here is to rebuild a relationship with Cleveland and Ashley because you abandoned them, despite what Ruben said, for at least eight years. Abandoned them. And now is your moment to speak. What is your reaction to what Reuben is saying to your children? The truth. And don't is she hold looking me. at him? I the think truth. we got the answer Tell right the there. Truth. We'll be back with Tell more. Stay right there. Personally, I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. I'm hoping that we can make a relationship, but I don't know if we're going to be able to because she doesn't think for herself. Another mother behaving badly. That's why she ain't because I'm a diva. You know, that's why. Don't miss the confrontation with her daughter. I took care of you, did I the thing? I took care of you. And later, it's decision time for Shannon's children. I guess you're going to marry Ruben, correct? Yeah. You two are going to get married. When that happens, Cleveland and Ashley, are you going to go to the ceremony? Has a loved one done you wrong? Have they cheated on you, stolen from you, or lied to you? Is it time to confront them and say, how could you? 
Come be a guest on our show. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text guest at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Because I've gotten to get my mother to She needs to know that she needs to grow up. Young man's like me. And if I see one that I like, I'm going for it. I, I want more than anything to be close to my mother. I think that's what mothers and daughters should be like. You know, as we've seen today, it can't be easy trying to get past a rocky relationship with your mom. My guests are here to tell their moms they need to be better parents or sever ties for good. Please welcome Janari to the show. Janari, how you doing? I'm okay. I'm good. Now, tell me about your relationship with your mom. We don't really have a relationship. I mean, the relationship, if you want to put it in technical terms, I'm the mother. She's my daughter. She uses you for what? She uses me for money. That's all she, that's all I am. I'm a check that she can cash at the bank, you know. And I don't like that, like, the feel that I have to, that's the only reason she had me for. If you had me for money, then you should have just, you know, you didn't have to do, you didn't have to lay out with whoever, you know, my father and do that. You know, when you have a child, it's your responsibility to take care of them. I want to be able to come to you and say, Ma, can you do this? I can't do that with her. You know, I can't the car, do that. The utilities, the house is all in Everything your name? Everything is in my name. You work, she doesn't? No, she doesn't work. Why doesn't she work? Is her? She has disability, but, you know, I'm... She uses that also as an excuse to, to use me and put me, uh, you know, on the table. And I can't just keep using... She can't keep using that as an excuse. So in this relationship, you're like the mother and she's the daughter. Yes. And it's always been like that since a teenager, actually since I was a child, actually. You went to foster care when you were 12? Yes. And you were gone for like six, eight months, something six like that? Six months, yes. Why? Because she, she was on drugs. She used drugs. And um, they took us from, like, all I remember was the day that I was getting home from school. I couldn't even get into the house because as soon as I got to the house, there were, they were out there to take us from her. I couldn't even go in. I couldn't see anybody. And that's... All I remember is like, next thing you know, I'm with another family, a strange family. Like, what's going on? I'm, I'm thinking everything's everything. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be with these people for like a day or so. And then the day turns into a weeks, and then more weeks, then months. And so I'm like, I just pretty much gave up. I'm like, I'm never gonna, I'm gonna be with this, in this situation for the rest of my life. And you also care for all your siblings too? You're like the breadwinner? Yes, I love my, my siblings. That's why I feel like since she's not doing, she's not stepping in to be the parent, like emotionally, you know, um, financially, I had to do that. I took on that responsibility. And I don't mind that because I love them to death. You know, I had to be the one, the role model for them to do better because they're doing good right now. And I feel like that's because of me. And I don't have a problem with them coming to me. You know? All right, please welcome Janari's mother, Mary, to the show. Mary, come on out. Do you yes. take, and you said yes. it, do you know what you did? What? When she was 10, 12, 13, do you know what kind of mother you were? I was a good were mother. Were you in the haze of drugs mother. so great you couldn't see what was going on? No, that's not you true. You knew what was going that, on? That's not true. Why don't you work now? Because my young men take care of me. I don't have to work. Your young men take that's care right. of me? That's the thing, though. The young men. That's so what? They I want me. They want me. It doesn't matter. It's okay. You, you bums? I'm going to care if they bum. I want my groove back and I'm going to get it. Well, that's, that's simple. Fine. That's but simple. But they're not going to live off of me, though. But they don't because have to live off of you, you You're taking money from me to give to them? I don't give men's money. I what is that? I don't give men's money, Janari, okay? So what, yeah, what are okay. you talking about? You, you I don't know. give men's money. I don't. Yeah, no, you I don't. don't. No, I don't. You gave don't. What's the no. You gave him my money. Mm -mm. He comes out. How he come up in the house? I mean, next thing you know, he got bags and clothes. I'm like, what is this? Do you that? understand like, why she's like, angry? Yeah, Mary, do you understand why you know, she's I'm angry? The, I'm the one you know she's angry. She's angry because I'm, I'm a diva. You and he can't that's do nothing. That's why she's angry because I'm a diva. You know? That's right. Well, you know. Are you ready to say? 
a mother and daughter. She came here to try to forge a new relationship. Is this helping? No. Generic. It's the yeah, same Mary, thing. do you want a different? Want to change do you want a different it? relationship with Generic? Yeah, I want to. Uh, oh, yeah, well, how does this behavior help? Because I'm a diva. I know. I mean, but, I can't but you can be a diva haters. and a good mother. Hello, haters in Florida, South Carolina. Hey. I'm not talking about all that. I'm talking about you using me. Like, you using the wrong person. I'm the only one well, that... Well, if you're going to be, if you're gonna be in the house, you no, got to no, kick no. out money. All those people out there well, then that you, you move you and I rent with. your room out. I'm not moving. The house is in my name. She, I'm owns, in, she my pays your bills. Who pays your bills? Who pays your bills? Does she, she pay your bills? The house is in my name, too. Does she pay your bills? She pays her own bills. How about your bills? The bills? My bills pay my bills, so I don't care. Yeah, you know some bills. Did she ruin your you know, credit? Did she hurt your credit? Yeah. Hell no. no. Okay, I, I bought a car, and the next thing you know, okay, it was paid off. All I had to do was pay the insurance. So what happened was, she wanted money. I'm like I said, this is my mother. Whatever she said, I'm going to do it, and I'm not even going to think twice about. It. She said, "Generic, can you just put this a, a title, a title loan on it?" I said, "Ma, are you going to pay these people once a month? Because I don't have the money and to she do didn't it." Pay. And she didn't pay it. Next Mama, you know, my do you want gone. a different relationship with your daughter that she's begging that you accept? Will you change your behavior just a little bit? <laughs> we'll be back with more. Stay right there. It's time to go to your phone and get ready for today's viewer decision. Cleveland and Ashley are furious with their mother, Shannon, for abandoning them. Will they ever accept her into their lives if she changes? Call 855-TELL-BILL with your decision. You're also going to receive some valuable offers. What will you decide? Call 855-TELL-BILL. Children distraught over broken relationships with mom. Abandoned. I was really young. And I was doing drugs. So what did you expect? I expected a woman that had a child to take care of her kids. Mistreated. Why don't you work now? Because my young men take care of me. I don't have to work. Your young men take That's care of me? That's not the thing, though. The young men... That's so what they want me. They want me. You know, the last person you would expect to let yourself down is your own mother, but my guests today say their moms have disappointed them their whole lives. We've heard from my guests. Now my audience is going to have their say. It's time for Talk Back with Bill. <laughs> two things. One thing for Shannon, I'm a mother and I can never imagine anybody raising my son except for me. So I honestly think you could do better regardless of your situation. And number two, why is it that your children are working harder to spend time with you than you're working to spend time with them? All right, good question. Hold on. Right. Shannon, I think your personality changed when Ruben came on the stage. Things changed. But why? Good, great question. They're fighting to spend time with you, and you're not fighting to spend time with them. Why is that? I don't know. I could do better. She's right. I should be spending more time with my kids. I could do better. Ruben, would you encourage her to spend more time with her kids? All right, first and foremost, I'm going to tell you like this, Bill. She, she do. She does. She does. She spends time with her kids. You know what I mean? They're grown like she's grown, and she spends as much time as she can with her. At the same time, though, she's on a new. She's in a relationship with me. I never um, heard the same. I mean, you never heard the same. Me, yeah. me and Shay, me and Shay Shay is established. You want your own family without them? I mean, honestly, they, they, no, 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 no. They, they're gonna always be a part of this family. But they're gonna always be a part of this. Family. But, but the thing is, she's mine now. She, me and her is establishing a future together, man. Taking it step by step. What do you mean? What do you mean? No you saying she's yours? What this, is up? This is my woman. That's just like I'm her man. She got just look, as much. A woman can have a husband, you. can have children, can have grandkids, can have sisters. It's not one relationship; it's many. And each relationship ought to help the other relationship. That's right, and that's exactly. Are what you I mean. helping them in this relationship with their mother? No. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. They won't leave me. Before we go. A woman can have a relationship that's loving with a husband and with children, with sisters, with grandparents, with aunts, with everybody. It's not either or, Reuben. It's all. It's both. You're right. And that's how I expect it to be. But listen to this. Is that the way it but is with him? Be, 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 be. No, no, no. no. I can't, Are you listening to Cleveland? I've been listening to him the whole, ever since I was You spent too much time talking to be listening. Oh. Right there. Stand up. Right there, go ahead. Um, 
Um, my statement is for Janari. Um, some parents um, have kids, some parents raise them. Um, I just think that you should like leave your mother alone. She wants to be a diva. Thank you. Let her be a diva. You can do, you're doing it by yourself. You could continue to do it by yourself. And Janari, is that true? I mean, but if this is the way it is at home with your mother, you it's got like major, major problems. Well, go ahead. Janari, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, if, like she, if she wants to do it, I mean, she's a grown woman, you know, but you're not going to take me for a ride, you know, and whoever else you with, you know, you're not going to take my money like that. You know, I have a future, too. I got goals that I want to accomplish, you know. I can't be supporting you all my life. That's not fair to me, and you know that's not fair. I raised three kids on my own. Three of them, you hear me? 17, Mary, 24, Mary. and 13. Parents are supposed to raise kids. And kids aren't supposed to raise story. parents. Hey, next hold question. Hold, hold, hold on, next hold question. Up. Hold up. I don't mind, do, uh, excuse me, I don't mind doing it, but I got to get my groove back sometime. You feel me? Okay. I'm not feeling you right now, Mary. I'm not feeling you. Go ahead. I'm uh, feeling it. Ashley Cleveland, I get that you want to have a relationship with your mother, but you, you guys seem great, and um, I would say if I, uh, I were in your, in your shoes, I would give her one more chance. And After that, I mean, Sh Shannon, are you willing? I, I guess you're going to marry Reuben, correct? Yes. You two are going to get married. When that happens, Cleveland and Ashley, are you going to go to the ceremony? No. no. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, now, when that happens... When that happens, that's important. So, Reuben, you've got to work hard to make sure your wife has a relationship with her kids, and the kids have got to work hard to make sure that marriage works. Right, you can't undermine this, and you can't undermine that. All right, completely understandable, Bill, but it worked both ways here now. I just said that. You feel no, 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 no. I, I, I said that, man. I said me. that. They, they came to grade me and didn't think I'm going to work a relationship with them when they said he's talking bad about me behind my back You know, now. Reuben's got a point. You two got to work to make that relationship work, the only thing and you, you, you got to work to make this relationship work. And they all goes together. They, they just we'll be back with more. Stay right there. Yeah. Is there a chance to rebuild a tough relationship with your mom you feel has betrayed you forever? Please welcome relationship expert and radio personality, LaDon Black, to the show. LaDon, how you doing? Thank you for having me, Bill. Let's go to the end first. Let's go to Mary and Janari. What do you see here with Mary and Janari? You know what? What I want to say to Janari first is sometimes you have to distance yourself from your mother. You know, in the first group, they kind of want to pull close. You need a little bit of space. If mom's not ready to grow up, you know what? You take your siblings and you keep it moving. You're already doing it all. Step out and do for yourself. Mom needs some tough love. Mom needs to mom figure does, out. Mom get tough love. Okay. Well, mom needs okay, to be I out there. I know how there. to handle my kids. I take care of my kids. You wrong for that. You no, 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 no. I didn't I take say care you of my didn't, kids. sister. I didn't say you didn't take care of your kids. I said daughter needs to go on and live her life at this point. Go. Mary, she brought you here because you're not that good of a mother at this point with her. You have been well, maybe. Well, then she could get the step in. I'll rent the room out. Janari, it's time okay. to get the step. Yeah. It's All time right. to get the step. Get the step in. You heard the whole house with me okay. then. Step in. All right. If and she made a good point. She said, whose house we gonna be in? Sister, make that it decision. It matter, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I got to live too. Let's move into the next step. What do we well, got going on? Okay. At least here, I'm Shannon, they, they want to be together. Okay. You know what? The first thing I want to say is, I don't know if the audience heard it, but Ruben said one truth. He said she made one great decision. She decided to leave you guys with your dad. And your dad has raised excellent children. Yeah. <laughs> there needs to be some communication going on. Give mom a little bit. Give her the fact that she gave you to your dad so that you guys would be okay. I understand you're hurt, but she made one good decision. Can y'all just at least say that to her, that she made one good decision? No, excuse me. No, Two. no, Ruben. Two. She, she no, told no. me. Two good Ruben, this isn't about you. I know. This you're is right. about her and her you're children. Right. You're right. Okay, I gave you your props. I said you said something correct. So can you give me like five seconds? Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. Now, the next thing I want to say is Shannon is very quiet when Ruben is around. You guys, they need to separate. You guys need to get close. So that means communicating with mom without Ruben. That means phone calls, visits without Ruben. Yeah, Once yeah. you guys heal, bring him in. Yeah. But this needs to be fixed first. Great idea. LaDon, take that to heart. Well, we continue the bottom line. For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com.
It's time to go to your phone and get ready for today's viewer decision. Cleveland and Ashley are furious with their mother, Shannon, for abandoning them. Will they ever accept her into their lives if she changes? Call 855-TELL-BILL with your decision. You're also going to receive some valuable offers. What will you decide? Call 855-TELL-BILL now. If your kids are confronting you with their issues, here's the bottom line. The best thing I heard today was from LaDon, who often says so many smart things when she said, the kids need some alone time with mommy. Yeah. Then once this relationship is healed oh, yeah. and is strong, yes. then it's time to introduce Reuben mm -hmm. into, the, into that relationship. I've seen so many circumstances where kids destroy a marriage before it gets off the ground. Right. And sometimes the marriage or one of the partners works to destroy this relationship. A mother can be different things to different people a woman all at the same different time. And so it's important for you three to have that relationship, build it, they're begging for it, and then Reuben, let her fly. Let her come back to her kids, then it's gonna be a happy fam family unit. And Janari and Mary, what can I say? I see a daughter and I see a mother. But the mother is in the green and the daughter is in the black mesh dress. That, that's the difference. And I pray in the future, you two can meet somewhere in the middle Quit draining your daughter financially and give each of you the love that each you deserve. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. Did you notice that Shannon changed completely when Reuben showed up? We had them in a position, I think, where Shannon with her two kids, Cleveland and Ashley, were going to be, uh, shall we say, brother and sister. They're close. They were going to have the relationship back together. When Reuben showed up, everything changed. Shannon became meek and mild. I hope at the end of the day, look, a woman at the same time can be a sister, can be a mother, can be a friend, and can be a lover at the same time. It isn't either or, it's everything. Reuben ought to have a happy marriage with Shannon, and he should work hard to make sure that Shannon has relationships with Cleveland and Ashley. It all works together. If one part of your body is ailing, the whole body gets sick. And secondly, what can you say about Janari and Mary? Mary is like almost 50 years old and acts like she's 15, and Janari, who's about 25, acts like she's 50. I don't understand it, but mom needs to grow up and I think sometimes separation can be good, especially when there's such hard conflict between Janari and Mary. We'll check in with them later on, but I hope Mary can grow up just a little bit.